Okay, I haven't really seen too many people post any really good videos on this or not, but I'm installing paddle shifters on my 2012 Mitsubishi Lancer SE. And um, a lot of people say to take the steering wheel off, but you don't. All you gotta do is cut the top part, as you tell I cut it right there. Shit, the top part of uh, the paddle shifters off, I haven't screwed that side in yet because I wanted to record it. But if you cut that off, you can slide it right under the bottom where it's really skinny right here and it'll pop right over I mean it bolts in right here and right here on the side and then right here on very on then two times on top so I think if you get it bolted in it's not gonna you're not gonna have any problems at all so but uh, all you got to do then once you get it on is you got to turn your steering steering wheel and you can kind of fit the the bolts in right there you can turn it over here and fit your other bolt in which I'm about to do and then the other two bolts are simply on the bottom right there and right there I'm pretty sure I'm pointing right at it and then I mean you just got your plugins right here now so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then see how and then I'll explain to you what I did and I get done and I'll tell you what bolts you need and everything but yeah it's super easy and you can find the paddle shifters on eBay for I, don't know, I got I got these for $61 and then I got the two plastic pieces that you will have to upgrade whenever um, you do put paddle shifters on but I got all that for 60 bucks. A lot of people post like for 150. I know the new set is like 330 bucks. And I only think that comes with the plastics. But I'm gonna finish this up. They're mowing around me, and I will let you know if it works and everything. So, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, also post them in the comments below. I'll be right back. These are the two bolts that go on the bottom. They're M6 by 20 millimeter, and um, this is what they look like. I type 8.8 .8 M6 by 20 mil. I'm pretty sure it takes 25, but I, I bought 20 mil, or yeah, 20 millimeter just to be safe. But anyways, if you, uh, I got 100 of them for six dollars off Amazon, and I got 100 of the other screws you're gonna need. But I mean, I could always mail these out to people who need me to make it easier on you and make it a lot cheaper. And then uh, the other screw you're gonna need is a uh, uh, size 10 self-tapping three-quarter inch long screws. I found some at Walmart that were Phillips, so I went ahead and bought those. It's like three dollars to get like 10 of them. But I ordered this off Amazon for six bucks, and I got a hundred of them. So I can mail these out. I can mail a set of, four, of two each, so you can get yours done. Maybe a couple extra because I got so many. Uh, and yeah, this is what it looks like: self-tapping. And these two go on. These two go on top. These two go on bottom. Super easy. I just did the install in less than ten minutes of my driveway. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go test drive it here soon. I'm waiting for them to stop mowing outside. I'm not going to record me test driving because I do have my child with me and he's more important to me than getting a video on it. But maybe in the future I will. I know on YouTube, you go to the Daily Ricer, he did the same install or he already had paddle shifters on his car, I believe. But he posted a video of it and that's what made me want to get mine. And I saw a couple guys on Facebook doing it, but no one else posts any good videos on how to do this. It's so simple. I mean, I'm stuck with my car for the next three years, so it's a good way to get some fun out of your CVT, I hope. I will let you guys know.